So we're moving ever closer to the sweet versus spicy versus sour Splatfest which is happening in January. And so Nintendo has decided to recap us on some of the changes they've made to tricolor battles within the 2.0 version. This is our first Splatfest playing on this particular update. However, within this, they actually revealed what the tricolor battle stage is going to be, which is definitely a really exciting reveal. So let's jump into all of what Nintendo has shared, as well as some more hidden details as well that you still might not know. In a tweet, Nintendo said, SRL Optical Engineer here with amazing new tricolor battle findings. It seems that in the next Splatfest, anyone can opt in to join a tricolor battle after the halftime report. And whether they join solo or with a friend on the same team, they'll always match into a tricolor battle. So this is definitely a really exciting change. I'm really happy that they implemented this in. I think it's honestly a positive one. I do feel like there are some people who have been saying, oh, this has made tricolor battles redundant, but honestly, I don't think so. And it's obvious the work on these tricolor battles isn't completely done yet. So if you are a bit disappointed, don't worry, they're still gonna adjust things. But for me, I personally think it's a lot better. We can also see from this screenshot in the bottom right corner that Undertow Spillway will be the Tricolor Turf War stage, which is really exciting, and this is our first time seeing it as it was actually completed with version 2.0. So still no Mako Mart, which has been in the makings for quite a while now it feels like, but I'm really happy to see Undertow get a go, it is one of my favourite stages in the game, so I definitely think it's going to be a lot of fun. And we also can't forget that Undertow Spillway did get some changes in the 2.0 version as well, so it really is the month of this stage. In the next tweet, Nintendo says, Now players won't know whether they're on the attacking or defending team until the battle begins, so we recommend familiarizing yourself with the rules at the Splatfest pledge box or via the lobby menu before hopping in. The best defense is a good offense and vice versa. Finally, the calculus for determining Splatfest winners has changed. A new metric known as Tricolor Clout will be included. Players on the leading team at the halftime report will get more Tricolor Clout when defending, while players on the other teams will get more when attacking. So yes, definitely some really important changes to know about the tricolor battles here before you actually jump into it in January. As I said, I definitely do feel like these changes are positive ones, and personally I'm really looking forward to this next Splatfest, especially with the theme feeling pretty interesting to me with Fry actually having a decent chance of winning this time. In Nintendo's patch notes for version 2.0, they did also share some more details that they didn't mention here. For example, that when you win a 10x, 100x, or 333x battle, it will be shown at your pledge box, which is really cool. Speaking of the pledge box, they also say after winning a 100x or 333x battle, you can board your team's float from the pledge box to take commemorative pictures, which is really cool. Now, my memory is super foggy, but I believe this was a thing in Splatoon 2, so I'm really happy that it's returning. Definitely some really good Splatfest updates here, and I hope you found this video useful. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splatfest Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. I'm trying to get to 20k subscribers before the end of the year.